it still makes me laugh. Good. I love Darn Your Face. Hopefully, I will be able to sort of uh, keep up the thing. Uh, you know, last year we first red carpet, we talked about a bunch of different stuff, a bunch of silly stuff. I always say, you know, hopefully we'll see you again as a daytime Emmy nominee. And what ask and you shall receive. <laughs> so from last year for that experience, how is it different? How are you feeling different now? Well, let me tell you, the nerves are have went from like a five to like a 16. So huge difference. And also like I don't know, the experience of being a nominee is just completely different. It's like you come and you're here to have a good time, but now it's like it's an actual award ceremony and you're nominated and it's like a, a huge deal, you know? And you know, talked to Rain earlier and yeah. she said both of your nominees, so she wants to beat you up because you're both in the same category. No, she didn't say that. Yeah, she that said, doesn't sound like her. <laughs> she said how much it's important to her to raise both of you up, whether both of you win, one of you wins, neither of you win, to raise you up as young women. Talk a little bit about that. I mean, I'm guessing that you echo that sentiment as well. No, not at all. What? <laughs> of course I do. It's actually really, I'm glad that she said that because, you know, I really believe that in this industry, women have to compete with themselves, you know, like with each other. And that makes me sad. And I feel like, you know, I look at the situation with me and Rain, it's like, we're two young women, we're in the same category, we're on the same show, and for all intents and purposes, we could be going out for the same roles and in constant competition with each other. And like, most people would probably think that we're, you know, we actually want each other to like trip on the run, on, on the red carpet, you know? And it's so not like that. And like, what I think is so special about our situation is like, what she said is right. We actually want to lift each other up and whoever wins, we're going to be clapping the loudest for each other because it's like, we want to see each other happy. We want to see each other win. And I think that that's so important to bring awareness to that, you know, and show that it's okay to be in competition with your friend and still want your friend to succeed, you know? It's important to lift each other up and to support. There's something else that's important to me. I love a good soap opera character that may develop some issues, some problems, goes off the tracks a little bit. I mean, I root. And then... I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's so sad. I'm sorry. It is sad. It's devastating. But it was such good television. It was. It was. It was such a catch-22 too, because it's like I'm really sad that my character's dead. But man, that's a good storyline. So it's like, how do you? What do you know? Like, how do you kind of navigate those waters of what to feel? Like you don't even know. I think I may have been at home touching the TV screen, like, wake up. Wake up! I, know. <laughs> I don't think people actually realize that she died. Like they thought she was gonna like wake up or like be in a coma for months or there something. There are still fans out there who are still hoping that maybe there's some secret lab where you're being kept awake. I keep like teasing a twin. Like I'm I'm hoping that there's a twin, but you know. So if other people would like to support the idea of there being a twin out there, please let them know where they can find you on social media so how they can promote this. Right in there. Um, I am on Twitter at AB Pierce, and I'm also on Instagram at Ashlyn Pierce. We're going to start the Evil Twin Brigade. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you so much.